It's new comic book Wednesday. You guys see the stack. We got a great stack of comic books ahead of us this week. Let's start off with my pick of the week. We're going with The Moon is Following Us, issue number one. New series from Image Comics, Daniel Warren Johnson and artist Riley Rosmo. You guys know it. I'm a huge fan of Daniel Warren Johnson. Try to pick up all those different things. Excited to get into his newest series. A uh, close second for pick of the week had to be The Power of Fantasy, issue number two, out of Image Comics. This issue number one was great last month. I thought that Kieran Gillen and artist Casper Wingard really did a great job with issue number one. Excited to get back into it. Let's move on to the DC Comics of the week. We've got a couple of absolute power tie-ins. We have Superman issue number 18. We also have Wonder Woman issue number 13. Like I've been saying, man, all the absolute power stuff has surprisingly been really solid. Uh, first DC event in a while that I can say that. Also from DC, we have Batman Superman World's Finest issue number 31. Uh, if you guys can see, it looks like Dan Mora isn't doing the art for this issue. That's all right. Uh, hopefully we we'll catch him in uh, you know, a couple of issues down the line. We also have Dark Knights of Steel All Winter. This is issue number three. I'm just really glad that the uh, DC Elseworlds uh, kind of label is back, right? All the Elseworlds stuff's really fun, especially this Dark Knights of Steel. I think it's a really cool uh, kind of world and universe they've got over there. From Skybound Image, we've got Destro, issue number four. This is part of the Energon universe stuff at Skybound Image. Uh, a lot of fun stuff here. This, this is a really solid uh, kind of entry into the G.I. Joe side of the uh, Energon universe. A lot of fun with this. Epitaphs from the Abyss. This is issue number three. This is from Oni Press and their new EC Comics label. This is a horror anthology series. So if you guys are getting ready for spooky season, looking for some horror stuff to read, uh, check out Epitaphs from the Abyss. Some really good stuff there. Uh, horror anthology, short stories, that's how, that kind of thing. Last single issue for this week, we've got Marvel Comics' Ultimate X-Men issue number seven. I heard that this issue starts answering, um, you know, some of the things that we've been wondering uh, about this new universe. So excited to get into it. Peach Momoko writing and drawing. Great stuff there as always. And then a little bonus today. We've got uh, the fade out trade paperback. This is Edward Baker and Sean Phillips. Uh, you know, Eisner, Eisner award winning series. You guys know it. I'm trying to read as much Edward Baker and Sean Phillips that I can. Uh, and this is one that I didn't have. That's what I got for New Comic Day, September 18th. As always, let me know what you're picking up. I'd be curious to know. Thank you guys for watching and read more comics.